Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we have this interesting problem and we are asked to find the value of x plus y. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's get started. So in order to solve this problem, let's make x plus y equals to p. Alright, so let x plus y equals to p. So we have x plus y into x plus 1 times y plus 1 equals to 2022. All right. Then let's expand this bracket. Okay. x plus 1 times y plus 1. All right. So let's expand it. So we are going to have x times y. We have xy plus x times 1. We have x plus 1 times y, we have y, then plus 1 times 1, we have 1, equals to 2022, 20, alright? And remember, we still have our x plus y here, right? So this is what we have. So the next step is, wherever we see x plus y, we are going to replace it with p, right? So we have x plus y here, and we have x plus y here so we are going to replace x plus y with p right so we have let's go back to this part of the board p into x y plus here again we have p plus 1 equals to 2022 right so let's multiply out we have p times x y we have p x y plus p squared plus p times 1 we have p equals to 2022 20, right so let's just rearrange this we're gonna have p squared plus pxy plus p equals to 2022 20, so let's make this our equation one okay so this is our equation one Let's start it, right? Now, let's go back to this. We have x cubed plus y cubed equals to 1933, right? So this is what we have. Now, from this identity, a plus b raised to the power of 3 equals to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3b squared a okay so if we factorize this in this identity we're gonna have a plus b raised to the power of 3 equals to a cubed plus b raised to the power of 3 plus 3 a b into a plus b all right so if you want to make this the subject of formula in this identity so we're gonna have a raised to the power of 3 plus b raised to the power of 3 equals to a plus b raised to the power of 3 minus 3 a b into a plus b all right so this is the identity we are going to use to simplify this equation so we have just been able to make a raised to the power of 3 plus b raised to the power of 3 the subject of formula from this identity and this is what we got so we are going to insert this into this all right so let's go ahead to this part of the board if you now compare these two equations this equation and this other equation you can notice that here we have x cubed plus y cubed. Here we have a cubed plus b cubed. So we are going to replace a cubed plus b cubed with this. All right. So whatever we have here, instead of a, we're going to replace it with x. And instead of b, we're going to replace it with y. All right. So we are just going to play around these two equations. All right. So let's go back to this part of the board. So, x cubed plus y cubed equals to 1933.
that means a cube plus b cube equals to 1933 right so we're gonna write 1933 equals to a plus b raised to the power of 3 so we're gonna write x plus y raised to the power of 3 x plus y raised to the power of 3 minus here we have 3ab so you're gonna write 3xy 3xy into here we have a plus b so you're gonna write x plus y x plus y all right now remember that our x plus y was equals to p all right remember this we set x plus y to be equals to p so here we have x plus y you're gonna put p so in continuation you're gonna have 1933 equals to p raised to the power of 3 minus 3xy into p all right so we're gonna have if we multiply this out 1933 equals to p raised to the power of 3 minus 3pxy all right p times 3xy you got 3pxy so let's rearrange this equation we're gonna have p cube minus 3pxy equals to 1933 okay let this be our equation too all right we had our first equation here and this is our second equation all right so let's go back to this first equation right now recall from equation one we had p squared plus pxy plus p equals to 2022 20, right if we make this pxy the subject of formula you're gonna have pxy equals to 2022 20, minus this will come over to this side p minus p squared all right if you notice closely we have pxy here right so we're gonna replace this 2022 20, minus p minus p squared with this pxy in this equation too right so we're gonna insert this into this pxy here all right so let's go back to this part of the board and do it p cube minus three instead of pxy we're gonna write this 2022 20, minus p minus p squared okay equals to 1933 all right so let's multiply this out we have p cube minus three times 2022 20, you know the negative sign is here already so you're gonna have 60 66 negative 3 times negative p you're gonna have positive 3p then we have negative 3 times negative p squared we're gonna have positive 3p squared equals to 1933 so let's collect like terms and rearrange the equation so we're gonna have p cube plus 3p squared plus 3p equals to this negative 60 66 will cross over to this side and it becomes 1933 plus 6066 all right so we're gonna have p cube plus 3p squared plus 3p equals to so this is what we are gonna do here let's add one to both sides of this equation okay so we're gonna have something like this p cube plus 3p squared plus 3p plus 1 equals 2 plus 1 okay we have just added one to both sides of the equation so nothing has really changed all right so now we're gonna have p cubed plus 3p squared plus 3p plus 1 equals to 8000 right so this is what we got if you factorize this whole 
expression you're gonna have p plus one raised to the power of three okay if you multiply this out you're gonna have this back so we have p plus one raised to the power of three equals to a thousand so let's continue on this part of the board we have p plus one raised to the power of three equals to a thousand right i'm just copying this to the side of the board right now the next thing is for us to take the cube root of both sides okay so you have cube root of p plus one raised to the power of three equals to cube root of eight thousand right so now the cube root here will cancel the cube we cancel this cube so we are left with p plus one equals two and the cube root of eight thousand is 20 all right so p plus one equals to 20 and for us to make this p the subject of the equation you're gonna have p equals to 20 minus one all right this one will cross over to this side so you're gonna have p equals to 19 all right so now our p equals to 19 but remember that p is equals to x plus y x plus y okay so that means so therefore x plus y equals to p and the p is 19 right so the value for x plus y equals to 19 all right so this is the final answer so we have come to the end of the class i believe you enjoyed the class and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification icon for updates on my videos thank you and bye